whichever language is being continuously listened to, by a learner, he can speak in that language in due course of time. If you listen to these English conversations in this spoken English program frequently, you will also be fluent in English. Dear, don't put the tail of the cat. It will bite you. Leave it. I didn't do that, mummy. The cat is doing so. I am just standing over his tail. Children are very naughty. We never know how time flies while talking to them. Daisy, find out why the dog is barking. Daddy, there's a man at the gate. What does he want? I shall find out. Why are you limping, Daisy? I fell down while playing. Or did someone push you? No, I slipped and fell down, Daddy. Did you return Usha's cycle? No, I didn't. Then go return it. There's nobody there now, Mummy. Daisy, get some curry leaves from Auntie's house. Yes, I shall, Mummy. Piglet, and a piece of ginger too, if they have. Yes, Mummy. Has the curry come, Daisy? Yes, it has, Daddy. Then put on the TV. Okay, I shall. Daisy, hurry up with your lunch. I have nearly finished. Good. It's time to go back to school. I'll be ready in a moment. Where are you, Daisy? I'm here on the terrace. What are you doing there? I'm playing with Simi. Mummy, may I go to play? Yes. With whom? With Uma next door. Be here before Daddy comes. Yes, Mummy. Daisy, call Mummy here. Mummy is not here, Daddy. Where is she gone? She's gone to the neighbors. Daisy, who is knocking at the door? Daddy, the drunkard neighbor. Shh, tell him I am not here. Okay, Daddy. Daddy, I am feeling cold. Then switch off the fan. I cannot reach there. Don't worry, I'll switch it off. Daisy, do you feel sleepy? Yes, I'm feeling sleepy. Then go to bed. Good night, Daddy. Good night, darling. Please speak to your kids in English from today. Let them learn from your conversations. Darling, switch on the light. Yes, Daddy. Go, switch off the bathroom light. Hi, Daddy. Daisy, close the gate. I'll do it now. Daisy, put on the fan. I'll. Darling, please put off the fan. I'll put it off, Dad. Darling, go change. Yes, I shall. Just open that window, please. I'll, Daddy. Switch on the TV. I shall. Daisy, stop that radio. Yes, Daddy. Dear, did you know that the new people has come in our neighborhood? I will say one thing. Don't need to show much attachment to them. Don't you remember what happens when we show attachment to our previous neighbors? Shh. Please talk quietly. They are coming here. Excuse me. Do you have today's newspaper? Sorry, I don't get the newspaper. Who has it here then? Mr. Ayer may have. Daisy, has your daddy come? No, he'll be here by five. Is your mummy here? No, uncle. She's gone shopping. Are you alone now? Yes, I am. Uncle, could I borrow Usha's cycle? Sure. Where do you want to go? To the tailors. Will you be back soon? Yes, within an hour. Be careful. The brakes are weak. Do you have some kerosene to spare? Yes. How much do you want? About two liters. Sure. When will you return it? This week end. Daisy, is your daddy here? Yes, he's upstairs. 
Tell him I'm here. I'll tell him. Auntie, mummy wants some curry leaves. Here you are, Daisy. And a piece of ginger. Oh, sorry, dear. We don't have it. Where to, Uncle? To the milk booth. Hasn't your milkman come? No, he's sick. Did you go to school yesterday? No, I didn't. Hmm, what happened? I was not well. Could you please call Mr. Ravi? Who shall I say is calling? Tell him Roy from his office. Yes, I shall. Didn't you hear me calling? No, I didn't. Were you dreaming? No, I was taking a nap. Not only to neighbors, you can even speak to your dear ones like this. Were you sleeping? No, I wasn't. Were you bathing? Yes, I was. Were you washing? Yes, I was. Were you singing? No, I was humming. Were you writing? Yes, I was. For preparing a curry, we don't need to learn its chemistry, but it may be difficult to give a comment on its taste. If we say it is not tasty, it may hurt the person who prepared it, but how can we skip such comment? How's the coffee, dear? I feel it is too strong. Should I add some milk? Could you please do? Who prepared this curry? Our new servant. Take it away. What's wrong? It's too pungent. How do you find the curd, dear? Where did you buy it from? It's from the new dairy. I think it is too sour. You haven't taken sambar, dear. Don't you like it? Then shall I bring dal for you? Oh yes, please. Have you lost your senses, Aja? What happened, dear? The omelette is very, very salty. Oh, keep it away. I shall make you another. Ah, uh, that's better. Take this curry and throw it out. Why? What's happened? It's rancid. Didn't you keep it in the fridge yesterday? Yes, I did. But last night we had no power. Do you feel the milk is too sweet, honey? No, I don't. I thought you may find it too sweet. Ah, uh -huh, it's just right. Asha, this medicine is too bitter. Let me get you some sugar then. That would be nice. Just wait. I'll get it. Haven't you had your tea? Oh. I forgot. Has it become cold? Yes, I am afraid so. Give it to me. I shall warm it up. Thank you. Here it is. We do have many feelings to express, just like expressing our comments on the taste factors. How can we express such feelings? Do you feel thirsty? Yes, I feel very thirsty. Do you feel hungry? No, I don't. Do you feel sleepy? Yeah. Do you feel to pass urine? Yes, badly. Do you feel feverish? Yes, a little. Do you feel tired? Yes, I am dead tired. 